Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, the fuzz is here. The new OP comes back with a new episode. Let's see what we got. So this deck is actually a variation of a deck I used in the Asperia Cup. The basic Neferos in Still Life level 2 deck. So what's the idea? The In Still Life card can bring back any two creatures with cost 2 or less to the field. Every single creature in this deck costs two or less. So it's basically resurrect two things. So that's really, really strong. So let's run through the deck. We've got, for the one drops, we've got Zombie Legionnaire, just good early, good early pressure. And I put in uh, two Plague Vermins, that's a new addition. Just so that I have six one drops and six two drops. And this guy does help against some early game. It kills Elf Scouts some little goblins, fias, and uh, stuff like that. So that's pretty useful. And I cut two of these guys for the two vermin. This is just your standard 3-3. He gets a little bit weaker, but he's big enough to make a, make a presence on turn 2. And the infected survivor is the other 2-drop. Really nice card, sticky minion, good speed, and summons a zombie legionnaire when he dies. Then of course we've got the cavalry field captain. Really great tempo play, plus one attack and health is good enough, but plus one speed also. And it's it's good body as well, 2-2 two, two with 3 speed. It's basically a elf warrior with a really good effect. The retreat to the support line effect, that's kind of cool. Uh, but it rarely comes into play, but hey, it doesn't hurt. And then moving on, we've got Mesmerizing Spirit. Just helps to get value, get a flyer on the board, and if you instill life it, you get uh, more discard. Hooray! Flesh Sculptor, because Flesh Sculptor is just ridiculous sometimes. You can produce such an army of zombies with him, you just overrun the board by having two of these and then dropping some infected survivors and plague vermin, and the next thing you know, there's like six zombies on the board. The funniest games you can have is when your opponent cataclysms a board with the two of these and like a few other things, and there's like ten zombies at the end of the cataclysm, and then he immediately resigns. Happened to me a few times, real fun stuff. And then I put in Necromantic Cult instead of the Vanguard. I feel this deck has enough of three drops already. And the Cult can really, really make an impact on the board once you get the removal train going. So it's a really strong card. And for only two mana, the fact that it comes back within still life, it's pretty good. And other than that, I just have Noxious Fumes. You're, if you run Corruption, you run Noxious Fumes. It's simple as that. And then Consume Spirit, because generally you'll be going Corruption, Corruption, Order. So this will be pretty good most of the time. I chose Nephros, the Aspiring Necromant. Because, well, let's see. The Order heroes aren't any good. Spawning Soldiers won't help you. And you, you don't run Angels. And the Advanced one, you will rarely be able to do anything with him. Whereas the ability to reduce speed can help you early on, which is where you need to establish your control. So... I think he works out a little better. So the idea of this deck is this. Get on the board, stay on the board, apply pressure, and then use Instill Life to come back quickly in case something goes wrong. And other than that, oh yeah, my mistake. Soul Prison is here because it's Soul Prison and it's overpowered, so why wouldn't you use it, right? It's basically like the kind of card you throw in there. Oh, you my opponent played Guardian of the Faithful. Well, I'm just going to play this and get rid of it. Well, until they nerf it, I'm going to run it. So let's see how we do. We're going to jump into some ranked and hope we get a game quickly. Oh, right away. Excellent. Our first opponent is... That's a very long username. I don't feel like pronouncing. So let's just see. Okay, we got a vermin. <clears throat> Consume and a captain. It's not bad. He's playing basic dares, which means he could be playing literally anything. Some of the uh, guys I've been running into have been using the uh, basic, what do you call it, Tempo Wisdom, or Budget Tempo Wisdom, or whatever that was called, and, oh, never mind, it's a control deck. You see this, you already know, it's a control deck. So what do we do? Consume is not going to work because it's faster. This would be good, but I can't get it on the board just yet. So... I could slow it down, but I can't actually kill. We gotta retreat it. Or it's just gonna die. The hand's not too good. Way too many shrines. Way too many shrines. We need creatures. 
We missed the two drop, which is always bad. But it happens. Such is the law of card games. I'm behind on the board, which really sucks. Because I wasn't able to challenge this guy. I would have played uh, anything, any two drop that I had. Oh, he finally decided to go for mana. Flash freeze to kill my guy? No, but I'm sure he's got it in mind. Okay. We're not going to kill him. I'm just going to play a Cavalry Field Captain. And sit. Is he going to flash freeze it now? Yes? No? Maybe? I don't even care if he does. But if he doesn't, and he attacks, then actually I can use the, the Vermin to trade. Which would be a good trade for me. Vermin for Assassin? Any day. Any day of the week. I don't have the option to return it. Oh, what? New Horizons. Oh, that's right. My mistake. It's a control deck. So that means Karthus is coming soon to DVD. To a store near you. Okay, well, I'm going to have to win very quickly. Or otherwise, I'm just going to... I'm going to lose. That was quite eloquent. What is with these shrines, guys? Well, I, I got to get rid of it. There's not much to do. I'm gonna have to rely on instill life to just kind of uh, revitalize my board after the inevitable cataclysm. How much time does he have? Oh, finally. Oh, goodness. Did he step away or something for a second? Yeah, this should be fine. This, he doesn't have any swift creatures. So it's not a big deal. Oh no, assassinate! That's a shame. Did he miss his mana drop? He did! Oh, that gives me some hope. Oh, that's pretty cool. I was actually thinking I might not play it if I just got the one, because he'll just get assassinated. But now at least I'm guaranteed a zombie to maintain board presence. And if he cataclysms, I get... Uh is it three zombies? No, I get four zombies if you cataclysm, because then there's two creatures except the flesh sculptor. That's two, and then there's two flesh sculptors times two. So that's pretty cool. Got that anti board clear capability. Doesn't matter, he can't board clear anyways. Oh my. Oh, he went to four aspects already. That's interesting. So, he still can't Karthus or anything for like two turns. As long as I got a Cataclysm proof board, I don't mind ter terribly much. But I think I might actually just sack this, because it's going to produce two guys right away. And result in a much, much more... Yeah, this is way better. Because I get to do eight damage instead of just five. Oh! In still life. That's going to come in handy pretty soon. But in the meantime... Let's get uh, let's get Sanctum of the Void active. Let's swing in for eight and see what happens. Cataclysm will not produce considerably fewer zombies, but the difference is he's taking eight damage instead of five, and and it's a good time. Although I can't kill him, but that's okay. If he survives with just one life, I'm still gonna like Karthus isn't gonna do anything. He needs more than Karthus. Okay. Well, I can slow that down, and then just run it run it down with the Flesh Sculptor, what's he got? No mana, another instill life. Cavalry Field Captain. I, I like the sound of that. I got a second instill life, so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna instill Field Captain and a Vermin. And now, I could even use Soul Prison, but I, I'd rather save it for like, Karthus. Actually, hang on. Can I kill him? No, he's got a blocker. I need. I need. I don't have enough to do him. Okay, that's fine. I'm actually gonna not use the vermin effect because this way it'll produce some zombies when the inevitable cataclysm happens. Right now, if he cataclysms, there will be six zombies by my count. These don't count. Yeah, there'll be six zombies on the board. So yeah. The cataclysm-proof cataclysm board. And I have a second instill if I really need. 
if I really need it. Karthus isn't going to work, unfortunately, because there's still a, just a monster-sized board to deal with. Um, no, that's not good enough. All right. This looks like the new and improved... Um, what do we call this deck? Mono... No. Corruption order... Stuff? I don't know. I don't really know. So what is he got? He's got no mana? I could actually play it again. Oh, there's not much to bring back. Yeah, I'll just consume it. I don't even need to do that. I just have such a huge board. Game over. Thanks for coming. I'm not sure going to level 4 that quickly was good. Maybe he had a bad hand. I mean, what's in his graveyard? It looks like pretty standard Wisdom Dominion, to be honest. Pretty much. Nothing out of the ordinary, just, I guess, open badly? I don't know. Well, we'll see how the deck does next. Just playing this guy, I got the feeling like he's not familiar with Wisdom Dominion. He saw the deck is really good, maybe saw Giotto's video, and thought, oh, I'm gonna just play this deck. But then found difficulties with actually executing it. And, you know, you know when do you gain which which aspect because the, using your using the new horizons takes a little bit of skill actually because you have to know when to use it and what shrine to get when and if you screw that up you could screw yourself if you don't get the get the train rolling quickly enough what do we got oh Thea oh okay that's why that's why that cards in the deck by the way deal with that although I don't understand why he played that of all things Gonna play a survivor. I don't need two in still lives. So one should be sufficient. This game is gonna end quickly anyways. He's rushing. One in still life is probably all I need to uh, swing the game back in my favor. But the fact that he went for Fia... I mean, he must be newer at the game. Because if he had known what the vermin does, he wouldn't bother. Uh, see, he could, Oh, he can't attack because it's too slow. So, do I play the Sculptor? Oh, I could play the Cavalry Field Captain and kill it. He, he'll sack it, though. Well, he was going to sack it anyways. While the Sculptor... Hmm. I'm not going to use that. Ugh. I don't have the option to play it. I guess I have to play the Sculptor. It sucks because it doesn't die. Unless he doesn't realize that. So I'll play a Flesh Sculptor. I'll see if he sacrifices it. He probably won't. I mean, he at least realizes what range does. Okay, but I got two zombies, and I'm going to put it on the back. So that's fine. I got nice board presence out of that. And then Cavalry Field Captain's going to probably let me kill whatever he plays. If he plays like Gibbo and Roni or something, I can at least clean up the board a little. Maybe I should have put it on the back. But mostly something like Massive Assault will let him just kill it for free, and we don't want that. So, okay, our graveyard not, does not have much... But even bringing this back, especially once you have some sculptors on the board, you can get some ridiculous board presence with the zombies. Gibbo and Roni, expected. So we can... Actually, not getting the white really sucks. I can definitely see that the second level should always be order. But I got unlucky in that respect. I can slow one down. But I think I'd rather play a Cavalry Field Captain, because it immediately... It lets me kill it for free. Without giving up anything. And if I can start catching up, then I'll overwhelm him because I'll have a big board of creatures and he won't. Yeah, definitely got to put in more order shrines. The second level has to be. Okay, I don't need another one. Okay, we got order. That's good news. So that means next turn I can actually instill, which is pretty cool. Pop that guy. Swing in the face. Catch up on damage. Get some board control. And I got a three speed creature as well. The nice thing here is that I'm not vulnerable to Fire Blast. At least not as vulnerable, since it won't just like wipe my board completely. I'm not sure what he's thinking about. He can't double block it. Although I wouldn't even mind if he did. But I'd rather just get one kill for free now. Yeah, what, the play I have in mind right now is if he, if he kills this, I'll instill it along with a Plague Vermin. And the Plague Vermin will kill this. And I'll get another zombie on the board as well. 
What do we got? Oh, a conga line of douchebags are coming. Oh, there's a fireball! Well, he didn't kill the sculptor. That's fascinating. I might instill anyways, actually. Because that's Plague Vermin and Captain. Yeah, that's way too good. Yeah, we're instilling. Instill is way too strong of a play right now. Vermin and Captain. And now we're going to power up one of them. We got to kill Fia. That's three damage. I don't want to take three damage to the face. He can't block at all. So we're not worried about that. Could the Sculptor just go in the front now? Yeah. Nah. Yeah, nah. I don't know. I'm not sure if it should. I got this to block. I mean, nah, I'm gonna keep it. This is too good. I have enough creatures on the front. So now, I have more creatures than he does, and I'm not behind on life. That's a big deal. Yeah, in my Asperia Cup deck, I ran three instills instead of four, and I can see now that I should have run four, because it's just such a good card. You have so many options with it. Being able to bring back anything is just absolutely insane. Are you fireball that? What? Yeah, I think it's gonna go to the front now. Another cavalry field captain. Wait, what is that? Spirits Walker? What? Who runs Spirits Walker? Oh, is that in the starter rage deck? No, the starter rage deck has all that shaman stuff, right? And the totems? This is a pretty standard rage rush. I mean, he's got a bunch of fireballs, goblins, and fias. Unless he likes this card. I don't know. I do not like that card. So, do I board control? I got 11 life. He's got 5 on board. He's got 1 card in hand. He might get 2. I think it might be a safe play to kill at least one thing and this is the best way to do it by swinging here getting one off the board and then I got a three speed blocker as well so I'll I'll avoid just enough okay you resigned alrighty that went pretty well it's actually going a little bit too well could this deck actually be decent you know, the general, the general thing with me is that I, I may know how to play decks, but I don't know how to build them very well. Generally, that's why I'll uh, take other people's decks first and then maybe tweak them a little bit. But I can't ever seem to be able to actually build a good one. So, let's wait for the next game. Alright, we are playing in friendly. Ranked wasn't really giving me anything. So, yeah, we're gonna move on. Whoa, that's a bad hand. It's all three drops. That's a little better. A little bit better. Open with Legionnaire. He's got advanced stairs. Not a, not a class you really see. Not a hero you usually see, I mean. It's a shame. I think he's really cool. Um, okay. I don't have a two drop, which is a shame. That was a real shame. Would have been great to get a survivor or a... Uh, even the zombie remains. What is it called? Rotting remains. Even that would be good. That's still three damage. And then I could have followed up with this and already have strong board presence. In the meantime, I think we're going to play the spirit. Get a discard going on him. Oh, it's a ramp deck. Wonderful. Wisdom Dominion ramp deck. Talk about an archetype you never ever see. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. I mean, you can't really blame newer players for trying to make the decks that are going to be good. I wonder if the devs are going to curb Wisdom Dominion. I kind of hope they do, because it's a little boring to face. And, yeah, it, it does... It basically showcases all the mo more annoying things with Spellweaver, like this wasteland style of games where nothing ever happens, and all this other good stuff. I don't know where I was going with that thought, by the way. No idea. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to need Soul Prison eventually. He's probably going to get assassinated. But, I'm not too worried about that. We gotta, we're got we going to have to kill it anyways. Because I don't want it to block my spirit. The uh, Sculptor gives me resistance to Cataclysm. That's the important thing right now. And if he assassinates, well, I got another Sculptor. So, it's not a big deal. 
The important thing is to keep pushing damage. Okay, he didn't assassinate. Maybe he doesn't have it or doesn't want to assassinate. Although generally you want to assassinate this. It's a pretty good card. Nothing in the grave yet. He hasn't killed anything. So we're gonna do... I don't have any way to get rid of it right now. Unless I go for Soul Prison. Which lets me continue to do, to do damage. I think we're gonna. He can't cart this yet. So we'll get it off the board. And then we'll swing for 6 more damage. Got it in still life. That's pretty good. Oh, we can play a Cult now as well. But we definitely want to get a second Sculptor. Because that basically makes my board completely immune to Cataclysm. It's already pretty well resistant to it. Because he needs to kill my... He'd have to assassinate the Sculptor and then Cataclysm. And in that case, I can actually just instill to bring back most of my stuff. So, it's it's going not too badly. Let's see. Uh, all so far, pretty much your standard Wisdom Dominion. Oh, no. That's actually not too bad. Um, and still isn't going to do anything, so we're not going to play that. We're going to play this, however. Noxious, I feel, is just not going to uh, do anything this game. He doesn't seem to have any creatures, really. I think... Yeah, we gotta play a cult, right? Because he can't Cataclysm, because it'll produce tons of creatures. So, well, it'll produce... Uh, six zombies? Yeah, that one doesn't count, but that one counts. So yeah, if he Cataclysms, he loses to, to the 12 damage swing. And the cult is a big threat. Well, I mean, it's not that big of a threat, but it's a 3-3. That's not too bad. Could get bigger if I could consume something. Cataclysm? No, Angelic Song. Oh, this is not, don't tell me this is like one turn heal or something. That deck is so boring. It's so dreadfully boring to play against. I right, just wait then. But he still can't break through. Although if he's gonna play a conga line of these, that's gonna be pretty lame. Well, hopefully that's not the case. Basically, this game is already over. As in the Oh, okay, he loses the game. Oh, does he have another Angelic Song to piss me off? I think he does. He got another Angelic Song and a Cataclysm. Isn't that just lovely? Isn't that just wonderful? Are we gonna... Are we instilling here? Yeah, we are. That's way too good. And then, and then, and then this. That way, if he Cataclysm, it's like uh, four more zombies, which is enough to kill him. Well, he's gonna need, like, another Cataclysm, basically. Oh, okay, I guess. Yeah, this is one turn heal, because I think you run the, uh, Darius Advanced, because it lets you... It lets you stall, which is all you need to do, really. Okay, kill that off. I don't even remember if the deck runs Karthus, to be honest. Okay, he's still a long way off from doing anything. Like, he needs a Thomic Reflector... And he needs, like, some Words of Graces. But because I have so much damage on the board, he has the Cataclysm. Because he's gonna take, like, how much? 12, 14, it's like 20 damage. Oh, Angelic Song number 3, boys and girls. Fascinating game so far, as you can see. Well, I'm gonna kill all your stuff because I don't like you. I wonder if I should just leave it there. Nah. If I leave it there, then what does that really do? No. He's gonna draw the card anyways. Now let's throw this on the board for kicks. Okay, well that was your third song. Do you have more stalling? Yeah. Really, really boring deck to play against. Because it literally just comes down to does he have enough stalling? <laughs> well, you have your fourth song or not? It co literally comes down to do you, did you draw your last angelic song? If not, rip in peace. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not one to complain about my opponents, but no disrespect to Raijan. He's a great guy and all, but that deck is so painfully boring. Oh my god. Although, to his credit, Raijan did actually point out that it is he specifically named word of grace as the reason why the deck is well i mean why that the card is overpowered 
And true, without Word of Grace, the deck wouldn't exist at all because there wouldn't be really any way to heal. I think it's a shame because I like Word of Grace. I think it's a cool card, but it it ends up just getting abused in exactly the way we just saw. For those uninitiated and wondering what would have happened in this game if I didn't win... Oh my god, am I facing him again? Okay, maybe you'll find out in this game. But I'll go over it anyways. If you've never seen one turn... <laughs> Why? I mean, why did he resign? Okay, I don't know why I did that. Basically, what would have happened is, let's say he got his song off. He would have stopped me for one more turn. Then the next turn, he's got Lightning Storm, so he's got another blocker, another turn block. Then he plays a Thalmic Reflector, an artifact which lets him reuse an action for two mana. Then after playing the Reflector, he would use his Obelisks to get like five Order Aspects. Then he plays Word of Grace... Gets 10 life and draws a card. Uses the Reflector to draw another card and gain 10 more life. So with 20 life gained, he's already halfway through to victory. So he just needs to draw one more Word of Grace and be able to stall. And then he wins. Exciting stuff, isn't it? I know! Okay, I'm gonna hope I'm gonna get one more game in with this deck. And Oh, it looks like we are. Oh, okay, he's gonna resign, right? Okay, never mind. Okay, I'll give Ranked a try. I don't know why the guy keeps resigning. I mean, it's not like my deck counters life gain. Well, it, it, it kind of does. I mean, the one turn heal. It kind of does because my board can become Cataclysm Proof, which means he can't ever remove it. Like, he has to keep stalling. Angelic Song, Angelic Song, a Lightning Storm, Angelic Storm. So he can only do it so much. And, you know, he in that case, he ran out. He burned through three songs so you know he didn't get his fourth he did go through half his deck he didn't get his fourth which is fair would have been kind of what you've got to be kidding me <laughs> guys this is getting ridiculous do i go back to friendly what is he gonna do next i don't know this is like the blue wire green wire thing which way which one? Oh, blue wire, red wire, whatever. Okay, this is the last chance. If I queue into him again, then I'm going to stop the video because as funny as it is, like he actually resigned in ranked, which is weird. I guess he doesn't care about his ranked, his rating at all. Come on. Can, can I get one more game out of this deck? It is next fun. I think it's pretty fun. It brings to life instill you know the card instill life which i think is really good what really makes it a good card is the fact that it only costs one order and not two which allows me to run this deck because if it costs two white i would have to redesign it and honestly it would be kind of lame well it wouldn't be that lame i would just have to take out the necromantic cult because i would have to run order order corruption and in that case i would simply use uh, Guardians of the Faithful instead because, well, it's an overpowered card, right? You gotta run it. That's that, that's the rules. Okay, this is going on for a little bit too long, so I'm gonna cut it off here. We got three games. I thought they were decent. Uh, let's go over the deck real quick again. You've got... The only things you use from order are Instill Life, which is what the deck is about. And Captain, because it's, it's that's another card that seems to be just so underused, which I think is ridiculously good. Very low cost, good body, kick-ass effect, and it is a target for Instill Life. It is almost never bad to have, just like Unicorn. And then, what else? Inst uh, Innoxious Fumes, Consume Spirit, you gotta run removal, otherwise you're gonna lose to Nature. And then your 6-1 drops, Plague Vermin... You know, the effect is really useful. You can run more of these if you want. You could run 3 and 3. If you're having trouble with uh, some decks. Zombie Legionnaire is just a, you know, solid body for 1 mana. Riding Remains, the 3-3, three, three, even though it's really a 3-2, it's good because it lets you trade with bigger creatures. Even though it gets killed by, like, goblins. But if you think about it, it's still just a 2-drop. So if it trades with a goblin, it's not the end of the world. And then, of course, Infected Survivor, because it has ridiculous synergy with the Flesh Sculptor, and it's really sticky. 
And then the big boys, Flesh Sculptor, because you just saw the shenanigans it can do. It's a ridiculously awesome card. Mesmerizing Spirit, not necessary, but I find the discard is useful. You could put in something else if you want. You could probably put in Restless Tombs even if you want that. But I designed this deck. This is supposed to be a mid-game deck. Aggressive mid-range. You attack early on, you maintain pressure, and then you've got some strong... Not gonna call them comeback cards, but more like apply extra pressure. Kind of like what Haldiri Rider does for Elves. It's this bigger card that comes out a little later and just makes an impact on the board. And that's what Instill Life is here. Four. And Necromantic Cult, I just think this card is way too awesome. Another card that doesn't see as much play as I think it should. It's a two-coster, which is perfect. And the effect is ridiculous. And it's just a great card. Now, what other cards would work with this, if you're wondering? What, what are other really strong two-costers? Actually, I'll show you right now. Oh, excuse me. For order, we also have... Where is he? Namir of Binding Light. You could bring him back as well. So if I was going to do the Order, Order, Corruption, if I couldn't do the deck I have now, I would also run Namir because, you know, good body. You get life when he comes into play. Although, yeah, he can power up something else, but not himself. But it's still pretty nice. It's a really solid card overall. Blue, I don't think actually has anything. Um, no, blue doesn't have anything. Sorry. Green actually does. You know what? Fay of Charm is a legal target. That's right. That's actually pretty funny. And as is Ancient Trant, the favorite green cards. For Rage, the main guy to bring back would be Ramgak. He's the only one that really fits this profile. None of the other two costers are, I think, good enough. I guess Goblin Looters, if you really wanted to. You cannot bring back Gibo and Roni, sadly. That would be really cool if you could. Actually, here's a thought. For Shamans, Flamebringer Shaman, you can bring back two of these little buggers for double damage. Oh man, I'm probably gonna make this deck eventually. For purple, let's see, what do we got? We have the Blood Bowl Matriarch, actually, which is pretty cool. You could bring that back. And besides that, I mean, Temptress of the Seeds is alright, but there isn't really anything else that really, really sparkles with me. So it's just the blood well. Be cool if you could bring back Drayla, but they'll probably be super overpowered. And then, uh, basically, yeah, there's nothing else in, in, in this aspect. So here, hope you enjoyed my extra extended edition of New OP. This, the reason th this deck has a special place for me is because it's a deck that I actually just entirely created without having previously seen it. I just saw in still life, hey, the card is cool. Let's see if you can make something happen. And the deck did well. I beat some decks I didn't think I could beat. I beat the Wisdom Dominion, but presumably my opponent didn't know what he was doing. And then beating one turn heal, hooray, that makes me feel special because, yay, whatever. Beat a tier one deck sometimes. Other than that, um, it was a lot of fun to play. I'll probably keep doing so. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, stay tuned for the new episodes. If you have ideas for decks you want me to do, leave it in the comments or message me on the forums, whatever. I'm always welcome to hear more ideas because I'm sure you guys can come up with way funnier things than me. See you out there and take it easy, guys. Cheers.